Herpes sores typically look like a cluster of small, fast-developing blisters that can join together and eventually break open, oozing fluid and crusting over. The rash can look different depending on where it occurs, such as the mouth, eyes, anus, or genitals. The look of a herpes sore can also vary by the stage of the infection, defined as the prodromal, pre-eruption, vesicular, blistering, and ulcerative, open sore stages. Once you're infected, herpes viruses, herpes simplex virus type 1, HSV1, and herpes simplex virus type 2, HSV2, stay with you forever. When the virus is inactive, it will embed itself in nerve cells near the spinal cord. When herpes reactivates, the virus will travel up the string of nerves to the surface of the skin where it will cause an outbreak of tiny blisters called vesicles. The vesicles will then erupt, causing painful open ulcers commonly referred to as herpes sores. This photo shows an example of the early stages of a herpes rash, the blisters of which are clustered in a red patch. In addition to pain, there may be itchiness or a pins and needles sensation. Prior to a herpes outbreak, people will often have prodromal symptoms, meaning non-specific signs that precede major symptoms, hours or days before the actual outbreak. The prodromal symptom may include localized genital pain, tingling or shooting pains in the legs, hips, or buttocks, flu-like symptoms such as fever, fatigue, and swollen lymph nodes. The appearance of a herpes sore can vary by the stage of the infection. There are three stages of a herpes outbreak. Prodromal. This is when the virus reactivates and migrates to the surface of the skin, causing non-specific nerve pain or sensations. Vesicular. This is when blisters, vesicles, develop. Ulcerative. This is when the blisters break open to form skin ulcers. This picture illustrates the formation of vesicles. Note the cluster of vesicles on a red base. These fluid-filled blisters are delicate and break open easily, creating open, oozing sores. Eventually, the sore will stop oozing and crust over. Both HSV-1 and HSV-2 are treated with antiviral drugs. They are most effective when started within 48 to 72 hours of the first signs of an outbreak. They do not cure herpes, but may reduce the severity and duration of an outbreak. Recommended options include Zovirax acyclovir, Famvir, Famcyclovir, Valtrex, Valacyclovir. This picture illustrates a typical herpes outbreak of the penis. Note how some of the tiny blisters have converged into larger ones. Severe cases like this tend to occur during a first outbreak, called primary herpes. Thereafter, the body will have produced immune proteins, called antibodies, that are not able to neutralize the virus, but can help control the infection. As a result, subsequent outbreaks tend to be far less severe. Because the genital area is warm and moist, herpes can sometimes have an atypical appearance in places like the penis, vagina, and anus. In this picture, the lesions look more like erosions, where only part of the top layer of skin is damaged. If you look closely, however, you can see that each red area has a cluster of small sores. This picture shows a herpes ulcer on the vulva. The vulva is the external part of the female genitalia. Females are four times more likely to get an HSV2 infection than males. In addition, females may have symptoms that are not readily recognized as herpes. For instance, a female may feel pelvic pain if the rash is located inside the vagina or on the cervix. This could lead to a misdiagnosis of pelvic inflammatory disease, PID. Also, many females experience burning with urination during a genital herpes outbreak. The burning may be misdiagnosed as a urinary tract infection, UTI. Note the crusting that has occurred near the head of the penis in this photo. The crust forms as fluids from the blisters evaporate and leave behind whitish or yellowish crystals. In addition to pain, the oozing sores will often have a fishy smell in both females and males. The smell can increase after sex due to the abrasion of skin on skin. The timeline of a genital herpes outbreak can vary. With primary herpes, the outbreak will usually occur within four days of exposure to the virus, although it can occur anywhere from two to 12 days after exposure. How long does herpes last? A genital herpes outbreak may last up to 7 to 10 days, particularly with the first outbreak. After crusting, healing usually occurs within 2 to 4 weeks, typically with no scarring. This picture shows herpes lesions after some of the blisters have broken open. Typically, you will see a whitish or yellowish crust forming on the ulcers. With that said, crusting may not be all that apparent. Because the skin of the penis and vagina is moist, there may be minimal crusting. Instead, there may be a whitish film covering or surrounding the open sores. Cold sores, also known as fever blisters, oral herpes, or oral labial herpes, are primarily caused by HSV-1. 
They progress similarly to genital herpes and can also affect the tongue, gums, or face. HSV1 can be transmitted to the genitals or anus through oral sex. It is difficult to determine which type of HSV caused a genital herpes outbreak, but those involving HSV1 are less likely to recur. Both HSV1 and HSV2 can be spread to other parts of the body through hand-to-skin contact, such as touching a sore and then touching your face, eye, or anus. This transmission can occur between individuals with or without herpes. Auto-inoculation can also happen by touching a sore on your body and then another part of your own body. The finger is a common site for a herpes infection to spread, known as herpetic whitlow or whitlow finger. In this infection, the blisters on the fingers are less fragile and may not break open. Herpetic whitlow can occur when you come into contact with herpes sores or blisters, whether caused by HSV1 or HSV2. Hand-to-skin contact can also transmit HSV1 and HSV2 to the eye, such as rubbing the eyes after touching a blister or sore. This can lead to herpetic keratitis, a herpes infection that affects the cornea. Symptoms may include eye pain, sensitivity to light, watery discharge, and blurry vision. If you suspect herpetic keratitis, it is important to seek immediate medical care from an ophthalmologist. Without treatment, it can cause corneal scarring and vision loss. Chickenpox, caused by the varicella zoster virus, VSV, is another type of herpes virus. While it can cause blistering and crusting sores like HSV, there are distinguishing features. Each blister in chickenpox has its own red base and is not clustered like HSV. Chickenpox typically starts on the torso, scalp, and face before spreading to the arms and legs. It can also cause sores in the eyes, mouth, and vagina, although this is rare. Unlike HSV, chickenpox can leave behind scars after healing. Aphthous ulcers, also known as canker sores, are often mistaken for cold sores. However, they are not caused by the herpes virus. Aphthous ulcers are painful, non-contagious ulcers found inside the mouth. They start as painful sores with a yellowish or whitish color and a red border. Remember, if you experience any symptoms or suspect a herpes infection, it is important to seek appropriate medical care. Herpes progresses in stages and causes the outbreak of blisters and painful ulcerative sores. This is followed by oozing and the crusting of the sores. Healing usually occurs within two to four weeks. The appearance of a herpes sore can vary by the stage of infection and its location on the body. For instance, herpes on moist areas of skin, like the anus and vagina, may have less crusting. Herpes sores on the mouth often look like a single sore, while herpes outbreaks on the genitals or eyes often have multiple distinct sores.